Well, you'll be able to see the full documentary back in the States on Friday. I was able to catch a sneak peek here in London last night. It's being called the most intimate portrait yet. It's also expected to be the very last time that Diana's sons, William and Harry, speak publicly about her death. You know, I wonder every single day what, what it would be like having her around. In Diana's seven days, Princes William and Harry recall how the loss of their mother impacted them. You keep asking yourself, why me? <laughs> All the time. Why, why? What have I done? Why, why has this happened to us? William was 15, Harry just 12, when Diana died in a car accident in Paris. The paparazzi blamed with helping cause the crash. I think one of the hardest things to come to terms with is the fact that the people that chased her through the, into the tunnel were the same people that were taking photographs of her while she was still dying on the back seat of the car. The princes were with their father at the royal estate in Scotland when they got the news. He tried to do his best and to make sure that, that we were protected and looked after. Um, but, you know, he was, he was going through the same grieving process as well. But the royal family weren't the only ones grieving. Thousands lined the streets during Diana's funeral. More than two billion watched on TV as the young princes walked behind Diana's casket. People wanted to grab us, um, you know, to touch us, to hold us. They were shouting, wailing, literally wailing at us. At the time, William says he didn't understand the reaction from people who didn't know his mother personally. But he credits Diana with getting them through. I just kept thinking about what she would want and, and you know, that she'd be proud of Harry and I. Uh, being able to, to go through it and that effectively she was there with us. 20 years after her death, the princes are finally able to speak publicly. Henry Singer directed Seven Days. I think because they wanted to talk about their mother and their mother's death, really for the first time and for the last time, I think they were remar remarkably open. For William and Harry, their mother's powerful legacy still very much alive. All I want to do is, is try and you know, fill the holes that my mother has, has left, and that's what it's about for us, is trying to make a difference. Now, the prince has called it cathartic to speak out publicly, and guys, it really is remarkable to hear it in their own words. I think we so often forget they're not just royals, but this was a family dealing with a very real tragedy. Yeah, it's nice to see them that open. Kristen Dahlgren, thank you so much. And by the way, you can see Diana Seven Days this Friday at 8, 7 Central, right here on NBC. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.